Hi everybody and welcome back to As the Rooster Crows. As you see, we have a new member of the family, Chunky, and um, he got here yesterday. Been waiting on him since probably mid-September. So I'm glad to have him here. Um, today we're going to make some keto lasagna. I've made this before and it is really, really good. So first we're going to get the leaves on the cabbage separated and then we'll get our ground meat going too. I should have showed I should have showed this but I cut my cabbage in three and then I just try and peel the leaves off as best as I can and if they break it doesn't matter a piece of cabbage will work just fine. Cabbage is not the easiest thing to break apart and get nice big leaves off of. It just wants to break. But they'll work. It doesn't matter. While my water is heating up for my cabbage, I'm going to go ahead and chop up my bell pepper. Um, two sticks of celery and a little small onion. And get my ground meat to browning. I dumped my veggies in and I'm letting them cook with my ground meat before I add my sauce. You are going to want one and a half cups of Parmesan. Don't buy the grated, pre-grated Parmesan because they use um, wood pulp and potato starch on your cheeses to keep it separated and that will knock you out of keto, the potato starch will. Once your water starts boiling, you want to get your cabbage in there. And let it cook for about 10 minutes. You might have to do more than one batch, depends on how much cabbage you're doing. Meat mixture, cook with the vegetables for about 15 minutes. Go ahead and add your marinara sauce. And this is sugar free. I'll put the name brand down in the um, description. So to my meat mixture, I'm going to add some Tony's. I'm going to add some garlic powder. Onion powder. Italian seasoning. After about 10 minutes, you want to go ahead and drain your cabbage. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still coughing from the... It's not the coronavirus. It's um, the Cajun seasoning. Some people say to take this out and pat it dry, and I'm just going to slap it in there and slap some sauce and stuff on it. I 
in a mixing bowl you want to put in your ricotta cheese about a quarter cup parsley a cup and a half of your fresh grated parmesan let's just do two actually let's take some out save a little for the top we'll go ahead and mix this all together first I'm going to just drizzle just a little bit of olive oil I'm going to add a little meat mixture spread that out a little bit then add your cabbage leaves Then you want to add your ricotta mixture to the top. Spreading this out is not going to be fun. And after your layer of your ricotta mixture, you want to layer some mozzarella. Top of that, you want to layer some more meat. And then you add your cabbage leaves. And then you keep going. Add your ricotta mixture. Meat mixture. And you heat your oven to 350. I forgot to say that in the beginning. And then we're just going to sprinkle the rest of the Parmesan on top. Alrighty, so now we're going to put our lasagna in. And then we're going to cook it about 25 minutes. Alrighty y'all, the buzzer went off. Let's see what we got here. So that looks delicious. Looks really good. It does. Okay, this is the end of our uh, keto lasagna and keto garlic bread. Thanks for watching. Please share, subscribe, and like, and leave a comment. Let me know how you like it. Thanks for watching. That's really good. Yeah. Let me try some of the bread. Tastes pretty good too. Mm -hmm.